Journal Entry 99 Two days on the path and we get jumped by a band of 20 or so orcs. Right where the map said, beware, orcs. Right where those assholes said I could ignore it, pacified. They weren't bandits, but they were a war party. I started having winter-filled barbarian flashbacks and their minds weren't entirely hostile, more worried. We got interrogated at Sword and Spear Point. They are out to keep reinforcements from getting to Wolf Lake. Apparently war between the pacified orc tribes of the region and the kingdom of Wolf Lake is about to kick off. Again. We assured that we were not reinforcements and we had no idea what the hell was going on out here and that we were just passing through. Left out of the whole off-worlder, kingslayer, ship-burning parts. They were being mostly truthful, and so were we. So, the reason for the war. The orcs didn't like being pacified. They are a brutal warrior culture with their own honor system, and while they weren't committing acts of banditry and rape, the local kingdom decided they wanted those lands and that the tribes could suck it. Thus the war. Wolf Lake won and started a campaign of quote-unquote pacification on survivors to cull the herds of that silly tribal violence. It may have worked, but instead produced more tactically-minded breed rather than turning them into willing subjects. So we are handed an ultimatum, and it took some mental manipulation between myself and Marcus to pull it off. So mercenaries work for them, or slaves. It's still not what we're aiming for, to be just set free, but it's better than the alternative. So we're being gang-pressed into the Grand Army of the United Orc Tribes as mercenaries. We get paid too, if we survive. Better than being slaves or dead. Journal Entry 100 so, we've spent a few days moving from camp to camp with the orc patrol. We finally got dumped off in some larger war camp. There must be a few thousand orcs. Some goblins, hobgoblins, and even uh, some half-orcs are here. We're the only humans here. We were introduced to the high command, battle experienced warlords, a few wise old shaman, an orc paladin of some warrior god, and even a druid. Every smile is a mouthful of bad dentistry. The first thing they told us was that deserters get tortured, then killed. After that, they got our skills down, and we got assigned a tent and told to stay out of the way. They'll call us when they need us. No pink skin joke so far, so that's a plus, I guess. The place doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. Sure, orcs have a different smell to humans. All races do. Some are horrible, like kobolds and goblins. Orcs? Orcs smell like war. Things were kind of grim until Marcus broke out the guitar and started playing. They allowed it. After a while, they liked it. Sure, he didn't know any traditional orcus songs, but he lightened the mood. Food, on the other hand, is another matter. Hard, tack, and raw meat. We had to cook ours. They don't cook theirs. This is going to take some getting used to.